All right, I'm going to have to edit those together, but this, we should be able to grab the hammer and rip off of there now because it's gone. So let me climb up here and get the hammer. I got one of the hammers. We're going to... Um, tear it right off of there. If I can. Oh, yeah. There is, um, screws down underneath of here, I believe. Hold stuff together. Yeah, I thought it was going to be really hard to do this, but it really isn't ending up that hard. Hardest part of this is what my feelings about this are. And how much I want to do this and how much I don't want to do it at the same time. That's going to suck. So that right there would be why I'm not doing it that way because it's going to suck. All right, here's another section of the junk. Don't worry, there's still gonna be more. And this piece. Let's see, what else is there? Oh no, we're not done yet. This piece here. Just for those of us that are wondering, this is how I do it. This is how I remove stuff very aggressively because it's more fun this way.
because aggressiveness is fun. All right, now for the big one. We gotta pull this whole pole out of here in one piece. Which I know, it doesn't look hard. So, for the factor of this, I'm gonna put us on the tripod again. I wish I would have done that before because it would have been better then too. All right, this bottom piece here has a few screws in it. Mainly two. The rest of these don't even matter. Don't even worry about any of the rest of those. Oh, here's some more junk wood. that I clearly can't just yank off of there. But apparently this 2x4 here that's probably 30 years I can. So. As you can imagine I am going to do it that way. As I said earlier, aggressive messes. Aggressive is fun. Unless you're the item aggressive towards, then it's not fun. Let's see if it comes off now. We just about got it. Even the comments, if you read it the way that I'm doing this, is fun. Probably isn't the best way to do it, but yeah, it's fine. Um, I am struggling to get that piece off of there. Very interesting. Whether you can hear it or not, but there's an argument going over there at that house, so. But yeah, this room is getting completely redone eventually. Actually soon, like today. I have a feeling well, there's a damn bolt right there. Is what I think it is. I think that there's a bolt there. That's gotta be it. 
because there's nothing else there that would be holding all of this mess together. But while I'm doing that, let's tear this off of here. We're one step closer to tearing down this section than we were before. So be happy. Um, my clip ended, so I have to try and fit these two videos together, which will be fun. Um, but yeah, we're actually getting somewhere with this, which is actually starting to look better. And once we put up our wall panel, have here um, and have to pick up. I'm gonna say I need one full piece and one of them stupid little ones, or I need two full pieces. And we'll do what I think I need. So I'll have to get those, and then we'll be able to start putting things back together. That stove, I might. Whether you can see that there's a stove there or not, and you can. That gray thing there is a stove. And I'll probably just tear that out. But I'll have to make some adjustments to that platform to be able to just put the metal on there. It's not just going to go on. Um, there's some other things I have to do. I have to put a base board on somewhere down there, which has to be double thick. And I need a top plate board, which if it goes right on the edge of the carry there, it only needs to be single wide stuff. So that would be better. But I don't know if I can do that yet. So keep in mind I'm walking all over the freaking power lines right now. Or whatever. When I took them off of there, I'm walking on the power lines. Probably not information that you need to know. Not power lines. They're just electrical wires, but I call them power lines. Yeah, there's probably a bolt in there. There's got to be like a bolt or something. It's all that mess. This would be cool in the way, or I could terrorize it right off of there, but there's a hole in the way. So, um, there will be a part three of this video. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.